Here we go. I have to be very careful with my words here on what I say. Okay. And how I say it, I guess, is more so what uh, I'm about to say. I'm going to go on the record as saying I'm not saying anything. <laughs> this is all new to me. I'm just listening. Michael Ribeiro is just listening. <laughs> <laughs> so it's come to my attention uh, by some inside sources that Senator Chris Murphy of mm -hmm. Connecticut, a Democrat senator, mm -hmm has been mishandling taxpayer funds to help pay for his staffers travel between DC and Connecticut by for plane flights and stuff like uh. that. And the way that they do this allegedly mm -hmm. Mike is uh, my attorney on this podcast. Said, say allegedly, <laughs> say as, allegedly much as, possible. as much as possible. Um, allegedly what happens is the staff yeah. <laughs> the staff uh, is allowed to give tours of the naval base in Groton, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what they do is they set tours up, mm -hmm. get up there, and cancel the tours. So the government can pay for those staffers to go on official business to do tours, and then they just cancel them. So they're using taxpayer money in that way through falsely saying that they're going to give a tour when they actually don't just to get their staffers back and forth right if that's true it's messed up yeah. if it's true <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> um, but here's the thing right there's multiple there's multiple angles to this that i think yeah. are really screwed up number one how do you find out about these tours right mm -hmm. i don't know I don't know. I didn't look that deep into it. So how do people sign up for these tours? Is it citizens that are signing up for these tours? Or is it the staff saying they want to go on a tour for them to go up there yep. and actually cancel it anyway because it was just them mm -hmm. and they weren't going to do it anyway, yep. right? So who knows? They probably do that as a secondary thing to get up there if no one signs up for a tour mm -hmm. anyway. I don't even know where you would sign up for a tour mm -hmm. of a naval base with a staffer of a, uh, of a senator or anything. Number two, this is the most important part. Because these happen, right, the Navy has to prepare the base to get ready for a tour. Okay? So now they go through the process every single time to prepare the base for a tour and it gets canceled. They know because of prior instances of this going on that it's not going to happen. But they have to run the gamut anyway to do that. Mm -hmm. So now not only are you wasting taxpayer money, you're wasting valuable resources and time management of the Navy personnel itself as well. Which also is funded by taxpayer money. So this is like double taxpayer yeah. money along with resources, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> so so my, my point here is, if this guy is doing this, if Senator Chris Murphy in Connecticut is allegedly doing this... Mm -hmm. Is the New York senator doing something? Is the Massachusetts senator doing something? Mm -hmm. Is the Pennsylvania senator yeah. doing something? Could be Republican or Democrat senators. I doing guarantee stuff. you, this is not just some thing that Chris Murphy's staff came up with and was like, "This is a genius idea." These types of secret mm -hmm. things are passed on either from the administration or the not administration, but his office administrators or whatever mm -hmm. before him to him. Hey, just do this. This is how we've been getting away with it. Uh, or from another senator from another state or any I mean, number I've, of reasons. I've heard stories in the, from the, the president's administration of people using flights and... Was it uh, Ben Carson's like living room set or something yeah. was like crazy expensive? Uh, or Nikki Haley's curtains, I think. Nikki were Haley's crazy. curtains, and I think something about flights with her too. So yeah, yeah this is probably a government, allegedly, <laughs> government-wide <laughs> perk that shouldn't right. exist because exactly. it's costing and, taxpayers money. And my point yeah. to this is, if it's happening, you should call them out on it. Yeah. Right. And. When you get the military involved and they have to go through this whole gamut and running this whole thing mm -hmm. uh, to get ready for something that they already know isn't going to happen, and you're wasting those resources, it needs to stop. Mm -hmm. Okay? So my point here is call out anyone. And if you have tips or sources or anything like mm -hmm. that or rumors of other senators, including Republican senators that are mishandling 
taxpayer funds to pay for things that they shouldn't be, send those tips to me. Mm-hmm. I will gladly point out the hypocrisy, uh, the the misappropriation of funds and stuff like that on this podcast yeah. at any point in time. And when you talk allegedly. about as being a conservative and, and a big thing with balancing the budget as far as cutting yeah. costs, this is this is the stuff that can be dealt with and, and cut and, and save, if, save money. If nothing else, if I cut out this video on YouTube so that you can share it and send it right to Chris Murphy's Twitter, right, and ask him, is this happening? Are you doing this? Mm-hmm. At least this stops. Mm -hmm. And they have to scramble to find a new way, right? And we will set those walls up in that maze for them to get to their cheese any way possible, Mm -hmm. you know? So my request of you is that when I split off this video, share it with Senator Murphy or just tweet at him and say, is this happening? Mm -hmm. You know, people need to be called out on this stuff because we have a deficit problem. Mm-hmm. In this country, it's just, that's a fact. Yep. It's got it's actually gotten worse under Trump. Even with everything doing much better, I think we've added 1.2 trillion over the last yeah, year. Yeah. It's it's mm-hmm. bad. Yep. Okay, and both sides are guilty of this type of thing. Uh, are there good things that are happening? Of course, we're pointing out good things all the time that are happening. Yep. Um, but we have fools like this who we've actually talked about before with his uh, supporting of the Alleged American fools. Yeah, <laughs> the the his support of the American uh, Care Act. Yeah. Or Affordable Care Act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the stupid things he said about that and everything. We've talked about Murphy before. Okay, in that regard, fools. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yep. Reach out to Senator Murphy, whether you're a Connecticut resident or not, and ask him if he is actually using taxpayer funds to get his staff back and forth from D.C. to Connecticut by setting up a scheme, I would call it, mm-hmm. of using naval-based tours and then canceling them once he gets there. Right? Yeah. It's ridiculous. So we'll allegedly allegedly move on to the next topic. <laughs>